Hi everyone, I'm Kaylee from Sidewalk Ready Everyday Fashion and today I have a new update to share with you. I know that we all really love those French braided styles that we see on Pinterest or the red carpet or runway shows, but realistically, a lot of us have a hard time doing them on ourselves. So today I have an update to share with you that includes braids, but it doesn't require that you have the ability to French braid. So hopefully this is an easy style for you that you can do at home. So first what I'm gonna do is go through and section out this top part of my hair. My hair is, hasn't been washed for a couple days, so it's pretty easy to work with. Um, if you need a little bit more texture in your hair, you can get that by using product. Um, now I'm gonna go in um, right around the temple and take an angle parting on the sides into the back here. I'm gonna leave some good portions down. The part that we leave down on the sides, that's gonna be what we use to braid. And now I'm just gonna get this out of the way. So we'll come back to this top section. Now what I'm gonna do is take another parting on the side, up from the ear, back into this little angled part that we already used before. And I'm gonna separate this into three sections and start braiding just the normal braid heading back. So I'm gonna direct it back as I'm braiding And that'll kind of keep it from getting those weird bubbles when you try to pull it back in the direction that it's going to eventually lay. Now, I'm going to take a pin and just stick this straight up and secure it. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So take your parting, split this into different parts. And start braiding backwards. Now if you do know how to French braid, you can use that technique and start the braid further forward and then you'll get more braiding above the ear if that's what you want. I'm going to pin this one out of the way too. Now getting back to this top section, I'm just going to sweep this a little off to the side so it's not going to go straight back. Whichever way you prefer to wear your hair, whatever you think looks best on you, feel free to do that. So now I'm going to just twist this side over top, capturing this hair underneath. And I'm going to pin this straight up and the braids will help secure that a little bit. So all the pinning from these braids underneath is now being covered by this top section. Now, you can finish this off in multiple ways. You can do a nice ballerina bun or you can do a ponytail. I'm gonna do something a little bit more messy. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just do the messy bun that I showed in a previous video, just by kind of haphazardly wrapping this band. I'm just going to stick some pins in there because I don't want it to look too perfect. I'm going to loosen the fronts up just a little bit. I don't like my hair to be too tight. Just do that by gently tugging. And that's the basic style. So you have the braided look from the side and then the messiness in the back with the braids coming back on both sides. So if you know how to do a basic braid, this is something you can definitely do at home. It doesn't require a lot of work with the French braiding and weaving. So hopefully this is something you can recreate. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at sidewalkready at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.